Countless hours of work have led up to this, and they couldn't have ordered up a better day. Put a lot of work into this thing, but the team has done really well, and uh, we've completely lucked out with the weather. But things soon became a race against time to launch their huge helium balloon, carrying an array of cameras to capture images of the total solar eclipse to instantly share online. By the time the partial eclipse began, the balloon was still being inflated. The spectators who flocked to Florenceville, Bristol, looked on. Some, like Brent Taylor, are Maritimers. I thought, I just need to live long enough to see this eclipse. So I have a few hours to go, but I, it's looking good. <laughs> Others literally chased the sunny skies from New York. We got tickets, non-refundable, and booked a few hotels. And when we saw that the cloud coverage was going to be about 60% there, we changed plans at the last moment. Well, Former astronaut did. Chris Hadfield so was even brought here to witness his first that. ever total solar eclipse. Yeah. So I think it's magnificent that occasionally something happens where everybody goes, hey, let's all stop and look up and notice that there's stuff that's way bigger than us. Exactly what all these spectators came for. After tense minutes went by, the balloon finally <laughs> took off. Its images started streaming and the total eclipse came 20 minutes later. Totality lasting just over three minutes. It's really emotional, it's fabulous. I loved it, that was an incredible opportunity. It seems like a dream. This hasn't happened in these parts for more than a thousand years. Memories of an extraordinary day now made for everyone here under the blue skies of Western New Brunswick. Heidi Petrachik, Global News, Florenceville, Bristol, New Brunswick.